Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make DC overcurrent and short circuit protection device. We can protect our DC devices with this circuit. For example, we can protect our power supply from being damaged due to short circuit or overcurrent. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notified about my new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel Canny Tech. do check it out as well. Subscribe and support it. All the links are in the description. These are all the components we gonna need for this project. First, I'm gonna connect LM358 IC and connect its pin number 8 to positive supply and its pin number 4 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its pin number 1 to positive supply and its pin number 2 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 12 volt relay and connect its 1 coil pin to positive supply and its normally closed pin to pin 3 of 3 pin terminal block. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 1 to remaining coil pin of the relay and its pin number 3 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect 1N4148 diode and connect its anode to pin number 1 of the transistor and its cathode to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10 microfarad capacitor and connect its negative pin to pin number 1 of the transistor and its positive pin to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number two of the transistor and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect another 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number two of the transistor and its other pin to pin seven of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number one of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to anode of the LED and its other pin to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 0.1 ohm 5 watt resistor and connect its one pin to ground and its other pin to common pin of the relay. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to common pin of relay and its other pin to pin 3 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 22K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 3 of the IC and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 50K potentiometer and connect its center pin and one side pin to pin number 2 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 1 of the IC and its other pin to remaining pin of potentiometer. After that, I'm gonna connect a 470 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of the IC and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 6 of the IC 
and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10k resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 5 of the IC and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its anode to pin number 6 of the IC and its cathode to pin number 5 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect another 1N4148 diode and connect its cathode to pin number 5 of the IC and its anode to pin number 1 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10k resistor and connect its one pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its anode to remaining pin of the 10k resistor and its cathode to pin number 6 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10k resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 6 of the IC and its other pin to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a push button and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to anode of fourth diode. So we have completed all the connections. Let's test the project.